everyone, my name is Tia Angelos and I am the founder of Smart Women Society. We are an online education platform that helps our amazing community of women to get smarter with their money, their career, their well-being, and their love lives. Today, I'm here to talk all about investing, and investing is quite a trendy topic at the moment, and you've probably seen it everywhere, all over your social media, especially with the growing popularity of cryptocurrency. But investing can be incredibly overwhelming and daunting, especially for first-time investors. Today, I'm going to chat to you about five things that you need to do before you start investing. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you need to do is to build an emergency fund. This is so important because unexpected emergencies in your life are inevitable. It's just part of life, but you need to make sure that you're prepared for them. The first thing is to keep your emergency fund in a high interest savings account. So it's always easily accessible if an emergency does arise. It's best to start with $1,000 to get you started and then aim for three to six months of your living expenses. Emergency funds are so crucial, I cannot emphasize that enough. Number two is to know your cash flow. This is super important and a lot of people still aren't doing it before they jump straight into investing in the stock market. The first step is to create a budget. So figure out how much money is coming in every month from your income, any side hustles, any other income that you make and everything that's going out, all your expenses, all your social spending, your discretionary spending, and start understanding the cash flow of your month to month. Then it is super important to track your spending and know what you're actually spending every month. Things add up really quickly. So if you don't track them and get on top of them, things can really blow out. So it's really important to understand your cash flow, really know where it's all going every month, and then understanding how much surplus funds or how much surplus money do I have every month to invest? This is really going to guide you as you start your investment journey, instead of just blindly throwing money into shares or into other investments every month. Number three is to pay off high interest debt. So if you have any high interest debt, such as credit cards or personal loans, and these could have interest rates up to 20% or more, focus on paying these down first. You are not going to get this return in the share market, especially in the short term. So it's really important that you focus on paying down these high interest debts before you start investing. This is going to rapidly improve your net worth and your monthly cash flow. Number four is to define your financial goals. And this one's really important. And you need to sit down with a pen and paper or your computer or something that you're comfortable with and really nut out what your financial goals are for the short, medium, and long term. So think about what you're hoping to achieve in the next one year, five years, 10 years, and more. Do you want to travel? Do you want to buy a house? Do you want to get married and have a wedding? These are all things that you need to consider. Investing is incredibly volatile and it is a long-term game. So if you are hoping to buy a house in the next year or two or have a wedding in the next few years, you need to be keeping some of that money into your savings account so it's readily accessible as opposed to investing it in the stock market. And lastly, number five, this one is so misunderstood and misfollowed by a lot of people. Take some time to understand the basics of investing. These are just some of the topics, but there's so many topics that you should research and learn about because becoming an informed investor is going to benefit you in so many ways. So take some time. There's heaps of resources. YouTube is a great place to start. Books, podcasts, just Googling and learn about risk, your risk appetite, your risk tolerance, what risk is, volatility and understanding the highs and the lows in the market and what those mean, diversification why it's important to diversify your portfolio instead of just focusing on one type of stock or investment, types of investments and different portfolios that you can create with them, and also different investing platforms. Which one is going to suit your needs the best and which ones do you want to actually execute your trades on? So it's really important to take some time, do your research and understand the basics before you actually start investing. So they're the top five things that you need to do before you start investing. And if you want more money and investing content, check us out on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed.